Well, hello there, friends. Amazing recipe today. I'm gonna make stuffed bell peppers. Wait until you see how easy it is to make. Remember, thumbs up if you like the recipe, subscribe to the channel, then ring that bell. Stay tuned, we're making them right now. Okay there, friends. Well, let me show you how easy it is to make those stuffed bell peppers. Actually, it's quite a lot of prep. There's a lot of stuff going on over there, but I'm going to show you. It's going to be delicious. And the cool part about this, you can make them in advance. You can make two or three eggs while I eat them tomorrow for lunch. They're delicious. All right, friends. I got all kind of peppers. I got sausages. I got, uh, mama mia, I got all this kind of stuff. You can stuff them with, uh, with a ground beef, but I like better a spicy Italian sausage. <laughs> I don't know if you ever tried it, but let me tell you, it's amazing. All right, so I got, um, I got the sausage right here. I already did some of it. See, look, look, I got it right there. Look how beautiful that is, friends. You see, I, let me see. I hope the camera can see it right there. You see, look, how beautiful golden brown it is. All right, that's the Mayao reaction. We're going to do that. I'm going to show you how to do it. See, and I got a little bit of oil. I'm dripping, the, I'm, and I'm going to use that oil right there to saute my onion. I'm going to use them. Instead of putting on olive oil, which would be delicious, but I got this phenomenal oil, so I'm going to use it, right? I want to show you how to get this into this, all right? I know a lot of you know, but I'm gonna show you anyway. We're gonna cut the casing off, okay? When you get the, the sausage, you take it, you cut it, and then you, you take the, um, the, the casing and you just flip it back. And normally it comes out really easy, unless there's camera rolling, then it makes it difficult for you. <laughs> so don't do it with the camera rolling, okay? Hey, you take it right there, your sausage without the casing, okay? And you clean your hands. And I'm going to show you, okay? So, let me just clean my hand. Let me take a, um, I take a, 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 a sanitized rack so I can clean my board, clean my knife, and I'm ready for the next step. I got a lot of stuff to do. So, this is, uh, it's not complicated, if you will. It's just a little time consuming, but it's not complicated to do. You can do it. Anybody can do it, Okay. You know, I, I I know some people said, oh, I can't do it. I, I can't cook. Well, guess what? If you never took any tennis lesson, would you be a good tennis player? No. If you never took any golf lesson, would you be a good golf pro? No. You take lesson. You learn. You're not born a good piano player. Or you're not born a good um, uh, tennis player or a good... Uh, you're not born anything. I mean, you're born with some people, right? Some people are talented. I was not one of them. I learned. My mom was a call on blue chef, so I was lucky to learn went next to my mom. And then I studied. I did like 10 years of apprenticeship, friends. So you got to study. At home, the good part of it is you don't need to do 10 years of apprenticeship. You can be a really good cook really quick at home. All right? So, and I'm going to show you. All right? That's the whole plan. That's the whole idea is anybody can do this. You can take your cooking from... From this to this in no time at all, because it's not complicated, okay? It, nothing is complicated. Take out the sausage right there, break it up, do this, okay? By the good sausage, though. You know, that's the thing. You know, you, you're going to be only as good as the product you use. You use good product, you're going to make good food. You use crappy product, uh, good luck making good food. We're going to saute some onion. At the end of the day, you're only as good as the product you're using, all right? That's really that simple. So we got the sausage over there. We're going to wait until it's hot. And then you know what we're going to do, friends? We're going to prepare the peppers. I'm going to show you what to do with the pepper. While I'm waiting, I'm not waiting that long because I'm already at 320 and I need to be at 365. So let's kind of look at what we got here. We got the sausage starting to get the Maya reaction, which is the most important. You see a lot of restaurants, sometimes you go and get a bolognese or something with a sausage like that. And you know what they do? They take this right there, they put it on the cutting board, and they chop it up with a knife. Don't do that. Don't do that. You need the, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, crony, what do you call them? Um, a crook and crony. <laughs> you know, like when you have an English muffin, you know, the crook and crony, I don't know what they call it, right? But you need that. It's really important. Don't cut it with a knife. Sometimes you go to a restaurant, big Italian restaurant, 
and they put it in the food processor. Mama mia, don't ever do that. You're like baby food. I'm telling you, you don't want that. You want to create that, 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 um, I don't know what you call it. You know what I'm talking about. The round and all that stuff is really, really important. Remember, texture is a conductor of flavor. So if I give you baby food instead of giving you that, big difference, all right? Okay, I'm done with this. Let me put some onion in there. And I got one large onion. One large onion. That thing was big, let me tell you. Whew. This is one big onion. You remember Justin Wilson? I love this guy. I grew up watching Justin Wilson. I mean, that's aging me, but that's okay. You know what? I got no issues with my age. A lot of people... Uh, we're watching Justin Whistler. I guarantee them. Remember, he had the suspenders. I guarantee them onion are really good. Oh, that looked at me. Good onion. He was good, boy. So, anyway, <laughs> I love Justin Wilson. May he rest in peace. Okay, so, uh, mushroom, we're going to put them in a minute. Let's get the peppers ready, friends. Look, I got the, the peppers right there. Try to, <laughs> mama mia, try to buy them. Imagine the people not here for the first time on our channel. <laughs> they are already gone to Tic Tac Tac because the video is too long for them. <laughs> God bless them. So look, guys, um, the peppers, you want to try to find them when they're straight. It's not easy, let me tell you. I was at the grocery store today. It took me like an hour to find peppers that are straight. <laughs> Everything is crooked these days. I don't know what it is. All right, uh, so try to find them on the straight. This lady was behind me, and she goes, you know, they're all the same. I said, well, I like them straight, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, boy, <laughs> she didn't like that too much. So, look, this guy's straight, but I got a trick I'm going to show you in case you can't find them straight. You know, I had them in a shopping cart, and I'm putting the peppers, and I'm looking at all them, and all people are looking at me. Say, These guys are nuts. He's looking at these peppers. I wanted them the same size, and I wanted them to be straight. Well, <laughs> guess what? This guy's crooked. See that? Look at this. That's okay. I'll show you. We'll fix him. All right. Let's cut the thing in half. Not in half. We just want to cut it where it starts to, to go like this. We want to cut it. Okay. Now, what do we do with this? Let's, ooh, let's get a bowl. And uh, we should take a little knife. Let's make sure we're doing good over here, okay? We're doing good over here. Or we're doing good over here. I want to get the onion. Caramelization first. Remember, the onion is always number first, okay? Don't forget that. All right, you take a little bit of light right there. And you may just take a spoon if you, and, or you go like this. See, they come right out. Look at that. Not one single, ooh, this is my bowl is hot. It must have been on the stove. All right, so look, we got this guy. We're done. What are we doing? With it? Oh, we do one more thing with it. First, we want to remove this stem. Some, uh, be careful, see? It's not coming out. So be careful. Take it a peri knife and be gentle now. You want to remove this stem. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. You're going to be, you're going to like it. All right? Then you take a little bit of olive oil. Hey, Louis, come out. I'm using my garlic olive oil and I rub it all over. A little bit of garlic olive oil. Right? Rub it all over. All right? Rub it inside. Rub it everywhere. Don't be, and be generous, and let me go wash my hands. Keep an eye on the onion, okay, guys? <laughs> they can't keep an eye on the onion. They're on the other side of the camera. Here you go, look. Oh, mamma mia. Almost burned the onion. The sausage is done, friends. Let me turn this off so I can take a breather. <laughs> Here we go. Mushrooms. All right? For the mushroom, we want to get rid of the water, so I'm going to put a little bit of... Um, uh, salt, and I'm putting my mushroom salt. I don't know if you've ever used my mushroom salt. It smells delicious. Dry porcini mushroom. It's delicious. All right? Now, what do we do with the sausage, friends? What do we do with the sausage? We're taking the sausage. Let's take the peppers out of there for a minute. Did I put the salt in there? No, I didn't put the salt. You got to put the salt in there, friends. Take a little bit of salt. Put it right in there. Inside, outside. I already got the other ones. Uh, I got to wash my hand again. I should have a sink right there. Right there. Let's make sure we get rid of the water in the mushroom. Everything is in order, right? Take the sausage right there, friends. Put it right there. 
Right there. Now, don't leave any other fat in there. We love that pork fat. <laughs> we love that pork fat, friends. Take it right there. All right? Mix it up really good. See? Look how beautiful that is. See? See what I'm talking about right there, folks? Right there. That Maya reaction. And if there's an extra fat, there's not an extra. All right. We're done with the sausage. Let me not put everything in the middle. You know what? I'm going to put my spatula here because I'll use it in a minute. What else do we put in here? It's going to be the stuffing. We're going to put some rice. I got about two or three cups of rice cooked. I got some um, uh, lavale tomatoes. They're wonderful. Lavale tomatoes. Let me just clean up my uh, cutting board. And then I'm going to put the seasoning in there, friends. There's a lot of stuff to prepare in advance for this. So, you know, you can download the recipe. We have a lot of people that ask all the time, where is the recipe? Friends, for those of you that I'm not familiar with YouTube, underneath the recipe, there's a link. There's a description and there's a link. And in the link, at the end of the link, it says show more. You click on that and you have a link to the free recipe. You can go and get the free recipe. All right. So what else do we put in here? We put some, I got fresh herbs. If you have them. Great, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of thyme. Put whatever else makes you happy, friends, okay? And I'm going to put a little basil in a minute. Mix it all up. Okay, it's looking good so far, right? Very simple, right? No big deal. We're going to put a little spinach. We're going to saute this. And then we're going to put some tomatoes. Yep. We're going to mix all this up, friends. And then we're going to mix it with the rice. And then we're going to stuff it all. I'm telling you, this is really, really simple. But I'm showing you. We're going to first, we're going to park cook the, um, the peppers. I'm going to show you. We're going to do a bunch of stuff. This is really delicious. This is so delicious, especially with the sausage. You can make it with ground beef. You're going to make it with ground beef. Make it with a 80-20, um, 80 80 lean, 20. If you can make your own ground beef, it's great. But if you can't, then get to the butcher shop. Try to go to a butcher shop. Grocery store, they're not so good with a the, with the ground beef. They, I mean, some of them do. I shouldn't be picking on grocery store because some grocery store do it themselves. I can smell the herbs. They smell delicious. We're going to put a little garlic in there, friends. Now, when a minute we put the garlic, that means what? That means we're getting ready to put liquid. Tomatoes. Okay, remember, you don't put the garlic at the beginning of a dish. Otherwise, you'll burn it. It becomes bitter. Instead of fragrant, floral, delicate, it's bitter. Right? So here we have it. Here we have it. We're smelling it. This minute we smell it. We're now going to put our tomatoes in there. Pretty simple, eh? This is about a can and a half of um, lavare fresh, fresh, no, not fresh. They were fresh when they put them in the can. Uh, lavare tomatoes, they're delicious. Use a good tomato. Those are peeled tomatoes. And they're delicious, my friends, I promise you. It's all about the tomato you're using. You make a good tomato sauce, you need a good tomato. That's all it is, is tomatoes. Right? What do you think? We're looking good so far? Well, let me tell you. We're going to mix the sausage with this. Right? Right now. Yeah. If there is a little extra fat in here, we're going to use it because we love it. It's delicious. From the sausage. There you go. Just a little bit so we don't waste none. I don't like to waste anything, my friends. And we're going to mix all this with the rice. And then we're going to stuff the pepper. All right, so we're going to cook this slowly for a good 20 minutes, my friends. 15, 20 minutes. Very, very slowly because we're going to finish cooking the whole thing. We're going to finish cooking the whole thing in the peppers. But let, what do we do with the pepper now? Just before we put the pepper, we will put the basil in there. Okay, I don't want to overcook the basil, right? So, the peppers, what we're going to do with the peppers, we got them with the oil in there. We want to save those, you see? 
You're going to love what I would do with this. This is very cool. So remember, we save them without the stem, okay? Doesn't matter how you do it, right in there. They're going to go in the oven. The oven is 350, 375, it depends on your oven, uh, for about 20 minutes. We're going to park cook them before we stuff them, all right? So we're going to put them right there in the oven. We're going to look at the clock. We're going to put ourselves a timer for 20 minutes to make sure we don't forget. We got the rice right there. We're going to let all this cook, and we're going to mix it all up. The last thing we're going to put in is put it in a little basil. We're not just seasoning if we need to, so we'll be back in about 20 minutes. And for you, it'll be just a, just a flash. Okay, friends, been about 20 minutes. The peppers are starting to cook. I mean, they don't cook, 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 but um, they, still, they got a good head start. So what I'm going to do now, friends, I'm going to remove the water out of them, you see? They have released some water, and the water we don't want to throw it away. It's got a little bit of olive oil in it. We're going to take it, and we're going to use it in the bottom of the pan. You see? I take it in the bottom of the pan. And the, um, the tops, the tops, they're not completely cooked, but we're good with it. Because uh, you watch what we're going to use them for. Oh, mamma mia, I broke the, the yellow. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't break the yellow. <laughs> you see, you see, you see what I'm going to do with them, okay? We're going to leave them here. We'll use them later, okay? Now, it would have been nice if I had two more, but... I don't know. I was uncalculating correctly. That's okay. We're good. Now, we're going to put uh, in this. Let me turn this off. I don't need to cook it anymore. I'm going to put some uh, uh, chopped parsley. I put. It, I didn't need it to cook, right? So I'm putting it here. And I'm going to put a bit of basil chiffonade, okay? And this I like to always cut at the last minute. And for those of you that have been following the video, you know exactly what we're doing. We're just cutting the basil in very, very, very small little strips. And it's where you roll it very tight, and then you take your knife, and you give it a very, very, very thin chiffonade. Chiffonade. See right there? Chiffonade. That's it. All right. I got too many here. Let me put it, um, let me put it here. There you go. I don't need it. All right. The minute you start cutting this, you don't want to put too much, but you want, certainly want to put enough. Okay? Don't clean your board with a, with a knife. Otherwise, the knife police are going to come and get you. The cutting board, right? We're going to mix all this up. And then, friends, we're going to put all this right there. Mix it all up. It's going to get all mixed up in there. We're going to put it with the rice. Now, a lot of people put way too much rice for this. I like a little bit of rice, but not too much. Eh? So rice is good. Makes it more, gives it more body. Makes it a little more filling also, it's really nice. And um, so we're gonna put this over here. We don't we don't need it. Oh, it's hot. Don't touch it. And and then we're gonna mix all this up. And then we're gonna fill the peppers. Right? And then we're gonna cook them, friends. Again, another 30 minutes. Right? 30 minutes. Maybe uh 25 minutes. That's a good 25 minutes. Right? We're going to cook them. And then we're going to take them out and we're going to put the cheese for the last 10 minutes. We don't want to put the cheese at the beginning because if we put the cheese at the beginning, the cheese will be golden brown and the peppers are not going to be cooked. So it's really important, friends. And uh, we do this in, uh, in three steps in a way, right? One, first we cook the pepper a little bit, right? And then, uh, and, and then we finish cooking the stuffing in the pepper. That, that will finish to cook the peppers, right? And then, at this point, I mean, this is delicious, let me tell you. <laughs> and we'll take a spoon here, friends. We make a, not a mess right there. Here, come back over here. And we're gonna stuff this as best as, as we can. And we're gonna give it, a, we're gonna be generous. I, away, I, I always have too much of this. But let me tell you, forget about stuffing the pepper, eh? This right there, it, it's a, it'll be amazing just by itself. Okay, it really, it's gonna be amazing just by itself. Just, just like this, it'll be absolutely amazing. This inside a, a soft taco, a, inside a, um, a, a, I forgot what you call those things, They're like a crepe, tortillas. 
That'll be delicious. I mean, you can do so many cool things with this. This is absolutely delicious. I can just eat it like this. Now, be very, very, very generous here. Pop it in. Really push it in, my friends. Okay, don't be afraid to push it in. Okay, you want it to be really, really, really full. See the way I'm doing it? I'm really like, I'm not going to have that much left. I love it when I have extra left because I eat it just like this. Forget about stuffing the rest of the papers. I eat it just like this. Now, some people, Jack is one of them, <laughs> he mixes the cheese with all that stuff. Nothing wrong with that. My opinion is the cheese overwhelms everything. Then all of a sudden you don't test the delicacy of the sausage and all that stuff because the cheese overwhelms everything. It just does. So it's up to you if you want to put the cheese inside. Try my way one time and you may, tr you may keep doing it this way. It's really up to you. I pop this in the oven. I'm gonna cook them another uh, 25 minutes and then I'll come back, we'll put the cheese and then we'll take them out. Be back in a few minutes. Okay, let's take them out of the oven, friends. Let's take them out and uh, they're gonna be hot. And um, so it depends how thick they are and how thin they are. You could get away with 15, 20 minutes, okay? It's really up to you. It, it all depends how thin they are. Because if they're thin, you see, like, those guys are, are going to be ready soon. So and what i got to do is uh, I'm going to put some cheese in there. You could put uh, a cheddar cheese. You could put Gruyere cheese. You could put uh, mozzarella cheese, a jack cheese. Put whatever cheese you want in here, friends. Just to try to make a nice, I'm just going to go like this. And uh, we want to be generous, but some people like to put it all over the place. It's really up to you how you want it. You know, I like to be a nice little clean when I put my cheese in it. Uh, so it's really up to you how you put it in there, my friends. Okay. Uh, yeah, some people just like to slap it all over the place. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. If it makes you happy to do it this way, see, take it out. I think you have enough right here. It's not too slappy, but it's okay. It's gonna be delicious no matter what we do, my friends. So like I said, you can put the cheese mixed with a mixture if you want, but I tell you what, I think it's uh, it's uh, it's better that way. Just like this, it's up to you. Of course it's up to you, it's always up to you, friends. Forget about what we do, chefs. We, uh, we're just here to show you our technique, but you know, you make it your own. It's your home, your family, you cook however you want it. There's no right or wrong here. Your right is what you decide. That's what it's all about, friends. Not about what I decide. What do you decide? All right, and here we have it. We're just gonna take him, and we're just gonna pop him in the oven until the cheese is nicely melted. So we'll be back in a few seconds. One well, a few seconds. However long it takes to get a golden brown. <laughs> depends your oven, depends everything. So we're gonna wait a little bit, friends. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends, I'm ready to eat now, and I'm hungry. I'm gonna serve it with a, um, a bell pepper coulis. You know, I make that sauce. There's a video on it. Uh, this is an old video. This was in our old kitchen. You guys gotta check it out. This is, this is so simple to make. You're not gonna believe it, friends. You gotta make this up. The recipe is over there somewhere. I think it's over there. <laughs> and uh, you gotta try to make that. It's really cool. So uh, we're gonna play that. Uh, you see what I did? I took the top, put it in the bottom as a as a stand, if you will. Matter of fact, remember the, the, the one in the yellow is broken? So you see, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it, you see, it doesn't matter if it's broken. Take it in broken pieces. This, this one ended up breaking in, 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 in two or three pieces. Doesn't matter. This is our stand. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it up and hopefully for you, it's gonna stand. <laughs> it's beautiful, you see my friend? This is a beautiful presentation, isn't it? So let me just take it out of the way. All of a sudden, roasted bell pepper can have a little class. And there's no reason. It should not have a little class, right? A little chopped parsley in there, friends. And then what we're going to do, we're going to eat it. That's the best moment. I waited a little bit because otherwise I'm going to burn myself. I do that a lot. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in there, friends, and we're going to cut. And let me tell you, friends, you're probably not going to be able to see much because I'm not being very generous with the camera, but I think you can see 
a little bit. And uh, and uh, and this right there, let me tell you, this is going to be amazing. It's still a little hot, though. I can see some smoke coming out of there. <laughs> so it's still going to be delicious. Why not take a big bite like this? Mmm. 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 My friends, the pepper still got a little bite to it, which is very important. You can feel them with the toothpicks to get an idea, right? I think the total cooking time for this thing was under 50 minutes. So you have to kind of play with it a little bit and see. And, um, and this is absolutely amazing. Really easy to reheat. And you see, you got all that. You see, not too much rice, just a little bit of rice. And with a coulis, mmm. Coulis is amazing. Or a tomato sauce would be great in there. Mm -hmm. And what you have when you have that leftover stuffing, you can serve it with scrambled eggs. That was Jack's idea. I think it's a fabulous idea. Friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's always fun to cook for you. I really enjoy doing it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Remember, thumbs up. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Stay. We'll see you in the next few days when that is a fantastic video. I got food in my mouth. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.